Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odoma and today we are going to look at the drop. So this is an advanced move. I want to make sure that you know what you're doing before you attempt this one. Make sure you really work on the nodding in. So you're 100% sure you are in the right position. In general with drops, if you do them, you can't really scare out. You have to do them. You have to do them fully out. So make sure before you attempt this one that you have a certain amount of time and safety and security on your back. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It does help a lot. And if you like what you see, give me a thumb up, share it with others. And yeah, let's go to the move. This move, I suggest that you start standing and make sure you have a long strop. So this is almost the minimum. If the strop is long enough, you have a little bit more space, otherwise it gets super tight and it is already tight. So make sure you have a long strop. This is number one. So first you start, you need a strop with a hole in the middle. So first thing is that you're going through, however, and you come into an invert. So you're hanging there, you have the hoop in your back. And the next thing you do is that you're hanging in one knee. Me, I'm taking my left knee, which means I'm going to climb above. So grab three times, push the leg in and make sure that you are really high up. So this is important. The leg, my left leg, I have been climbing up. This is the side where I am grabbing the hoop from the back. So I'm leaning a little bit back. My left hand grabs the hoop from the front, from the outside, away from my body. And lifts it over my head. Then I'm changing the hand. My arm comes from the back and I am moving it to the other side, to the front. Then my whole body is going also towards the front and I am making sure that I have the hoop in front of me and that the strop is in the middle. This is the position, your starting position. For going, I will grab thumb like this. So the thumb is pointing down, one arm will grab and then I go for it. The second arm will do the same. This is already the entire move. I had it on slow motion because it's hard to explain it while you are doing it. Make sure you have a big mat under. Make sure you are putting the positions right. So before you go, I'd rather you knock yourself out again and try again until you are 100% sure that you have done everything right until you are in position. Once you are there, grab with the thumb like this. Other hand will grab the same way. Open your legs slightly because you go past the strop and then you will stop yourself by holding the hoop. One more thing, when you afterwards turn the hoop back down and go out, make sure you lift your feet because that almost hurts most when the hoop is falling down and your feet are in the way, you will hit yourself. So it's a hoop flying around, depending on the weight of your hoop, it can be painful. So be sure you have, uh, you think about that ankles, feet, like make sure you are uh, protected or make sure you are aware until the last second, until you have really come out of the knot as well afterwards, come down to the floor. When you knot yourself in, the knee you have been climbing on, you start on that side to grab from the behind, lifting it over, your arm will protect the hoop holding it so it doesn't fall down again. So you can regrip, take the other hand up and then get it over your front. And then you are there in the position to start. You need a long strop, you need some braveness. Give it a try, tag me with your try of it. My name is Karin Odomat Coach. And thank you for watching, thank you for being here and see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye.